camera up perfectly. It's so perfect. A couple of things slightly out, but hey, we got it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the Mystery Knife Giveaway Live event. As the title suggests, we have 20 new Mystery Knives, all in pouches off camera, of course, but 20 new Mystery Knives. Wow, that is fantastic. Um, why is my live stream not updating? Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry, sorry, how you get through this ad? It didn't automatically populate. Uh, let me get through this ad here and make sure it's lined up on my uh, on my end. Hey, pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Really, just gonna scooch this bottom row down just a bit so I can give some of these knives some breathing room. Don't want some of these as close together as they currently are. I'm just gonna move some of those down. But that's fine. That's looking pretty good there. Okay. What's going on, guys? How is everybody tonight? Tactical scissors, you like those? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a kind of a weird. I love them. I think they're super cool. They're just incredibly weird. That was so unexpected. We asked Reich or Max Ace to make an M390 pizza cutter, and Reich was like, all right, we'll do you one better. How about tactical scissors? Okay. You know you need to pare down your knives and you can't. Oh, man. I wish you could see the four additional Pelican cases that are full of knives just off camera to the left. The weekly ritual. I love that. Um... That's actually a, a much better name for the live stream than Knives and Nonsense. I kind of like the weekly ritual. God dang, I kind of like that. That's a good name. Is anybody else's live stream name the weekly ritual? Because that's really... I mean, I got to be careful though, because people are going to start saying I'm trying to start a cult. <laughs> I gotta decorate Easter eggs after this, so I gotta be careful. All right, I got 20 fresh knives for you guys. I did pack away some super fun stuff in there. There are... There are at least two knives over 200. One of them's close to 300. I think there are three knives in there that are over $200. Then there's some mid-range stuff and there's a bunch of budget knives, but all the budget knives are really cool. Is the full-time ask us excel yo you oh you already know there's gonna be a full-time so i mean yeah we're i don't know what the maximum dressy excalibur is gonna look like but yeah there's gonna be one we've already talked about it we're, we're gonna do we're gonna do a very few like ultimate absolutely balls to the walls like crazy excaliburs um on that note would you guys like a major update on excalibur I'm not going to wait for you. Of course you do. <laughs> so, had a had a chat with uh, the person I'm I'm you know that's that's creating the knife, and uh, we you know came to some final, almost completely final agreements. Uh, they are sending me three variations of my Excalibur prototype V3, which I will say is probably I I told my patrons 95 percent complete it's probably more like 98 percent complete save for a couple little little bitty tweaks that i might change after i get them but i'm getting three different variations of my final prototype sent in and i've i've decided um i am probably going to reveal excalibur when they come in and i think this is a good idea to do before the 500k event because ideally ideally during that 500,000 subscriber event, which by the way is 
literally only 30,000 subscribers away. I got 30,000 subs last month, so it's not that far away. Ideally, for the half million sub event, I would give away one of my original V3 prototypes, which I figured you guys would be happy about. Um, so you could be the first, you could, you could potentially be the first in the world to get your hands on my, my design via my live event. So, uh, I have to look at them. I got to look them over, make sure they're feeling good, make sure that they're, you know, I'm sure they will be, but I want to make sure it's something that I can give away and have somebody be happy with. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe, maybe I'll do that. You'll know there'll be an update, but... I think I'm I think I'm ready to reveal it. I'm not ready to reveal when the pre-order will be because I don't know. I'm not ready to reveal anything else, but I am I think close to ready to reveal the the actual design. So, I thought you guys would be happy with that if I gave if I gave one away before they hit the before they hit the the market. I mean, I gotta promote it, right? I gotta promote it. Why not use my own live stream to do that? Knives are life. Knives are my life for sure, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought you could do this full time? You can, you can, literally anybody can do it. I would recommend uh, talking loud and fast and obsessing over teeny tiny details. People seem to like that, which is good because that's what I like to do anyway. The bottom blue, that's the... Uh... Okay, now listen, everybody makes fun of me when I put gloves on. I'm doing this for you guys. I don't want to get my nasty, dirty old fingerprints all over it. This uh, was the. This is the boa, which is actually made by Artisan Cutlery. Hold on. I want to get the blade out without messing up the finish. So that's a true mirror. This is full Timascus. The whole thing is Timascus. Mirror polished Timascus and mirror polished S90V. Look at that. Let's look at those RGBs. Oh boy, look at that. Artisan Cutlery made this. $750 knife, which, come on now. Mirror polished S90V and full Timascus. You're going to be hard pressed to find something else on the market that's uh, same thing. Honestly, the most impressive thing that's ever come out of Artisan Cutlery. I didn't know they were capable of doing that. Uh, really, really nice knife. The Boa in general is a great uh, knife. Can somebody help me out with the designer? Who designed the Boa? I'm pretty sure it was a younger guy. There's a gas station knife. They're like, no, it looked like it's from the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> my mom my mom would love that knife triple stripe he was 17 17 year old and uh, in my opinion designed one of the best knives to ever come out of ours and killer it's a great design that's what i hear when people say that man that's how i read it Be honest with you. Those of you who think it looks like a gas station knife, be honest. When you jump into a pool, you hold your nose with your fingers, don't you? You're one of those people. When you jump off the diving board, you still hold your nose. You're an adult, and you hold your nose when you jump in a pool, don't you? <laughs> you ever seen an adult do that? What are you doing? Breathe out your nose, man. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Now everybody, that now that's what you have to picture every time, every time. Is there an emoji of somebody diving into a pool? That can be an inside joke now in my comments. <laughs> Such a subtle burn. I know, but like. Listen, I'm not judging because I know not everybody had the, the luxury of having swimming lessons or even being near a body of water when they're younger, right? So while I acknowledge I, I, I acknowledge that that's kind of a that's a low blow because not everybody has that. 
I can't help but like, if I'm at the pool and I see an adult jump off the diving board and they hold their nose, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, it's a, just breathe out, breathe out your nose when you hit the water. You need your, you need your limbs to swim. You would die, you would die, those are the people who died immediately when they fell off the Titanic. I mean, you know, the water was really cold, but the ones who used both arms to swim, I bet made it a little further. It's not funny, it's not funny at all, I'm sorry. Not funny. Breathe out your nose. Next time you're at the pool, okay? If you feel like I'm talking to you, just breathe out your nose, right? I'm done being mean. We jump off, we jump off the side, right? When you're jumping off the forefoot, uh, just breathe out your nose. <laughs> you plug your nose with your toes. <laughs> I pictured it. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be like, you know what? Good for him. He figured it out. Still able to swim. <laughs> Body shaped exactly like the copyright symbol. <laughs> Just swimming through the swimming through the water. Feet plugging your nose. <laughs> Snap on the table is representative of X Cal. What? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't understand what that means. You see that? Look. That's the at. No, he's got the at symbol. Bet that's better. Better is the at symbol. <laughs> Six months sub. Got my channel to 3,700 subs. That is no small feat. That is awesome. Good for you. Very proud of you. 3,700 subscribers. That is not easy to do. Good job. You are well on your way. The yellow knife at the bottom. That is actually a Herman in... It's a rare uh, DLC Damasteel Herman Ishtar with a gold PVD coating on the titanium. Kind of like a hammered PVD coating. I don't have anything else like this. Absolutely wild. Um, but yeah. Did you see that Herman uh, developed a diamond textured uh, pattern? I saw that. I know they're waiting for me to see it. Because the moment I liked it and I did the clap emoji like they liked it. I knew they were like, oh, he's going to love this. <laughs> I like to pretend that that they... they, they wait for me to comment. I know that that's not true, but I, the folks at Herman Knives are awesome. The Tau 2, yeah, all the new Hermans, including the new one that looks a lot like a shark. Or not Herman, Kunwu. All the new Kunwus, yeah, absolutely. Just waiting. I think they have a, Kunwu has a pretty, there's like a bunch of uh, a bunch of new models coming from Kunwu. I think they messaged me three weeks ago. Yeah, the new shark one, and there's another. Is that the Tau too? The one that's like the sheep's foot blade. I don't know. I can't remember. Still waiting to see something come out with that beautiful black mirror polish they showed off. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Kunwu's Instagram and click on their pinned they're pinned real. They can do a mirror polish and a mirrored black DLC polish. It's absolutely perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. You want that brown knife? Save their penny to make it happen? Yep. It's worth it. This is absolutely phenomenal. I would have preferred his like super high polished tumbled finish, but I'm, I'm okay with this. His diamond texturing is so cool and I love how it's kind of wavy. Oh my god, this is such a good knife. I've been, all throughout the day, I've been trading between these two. These are the two that I've been carrying today. And I just can't, every time I go back to my my room, I open that drawer up and I switch them. So each one has seen my pocket twice today. The cedar and the uh, the brown uh, XL uh, Cortex. 
You bought a shaman today. Good, you'll love it. That new spider co is that the bodacious? That new spider co bodacious sure makes the shaman look like a deal, huh? Boy. Spider Co. invented a time machine and brought a model back from 2002. I say that. I'm making fun of Spider Co., but I watch it be like a top seller. Watch it be like the greatest, listed as the greatest Spider Co. ever. But, geez, the price on it. What's the release price? $260? What the heck, man? You guys remember when? I remember when you could get a Spider Co. PM2 for like 100 bucks. Wasn't that... 2013, 2014, you could get a Spyderco PM2 for a hundred bucks. That's I mean, given that was ten years ago. I'm sound old. Back in my day, the Spyderco PM2 cost a nickel. Shut up, Grandpa. Why don't you go crank your jalopy, Gramps? <laughs> you and your nickel Spyderco PM2. Watch me still be doing this in 20 years. You guys still going to be subbed if I'm doing this in 20 years? In 20 years, I will be 56 years old. I'll be ancient. So me watch me in 20 years? All right, cool. All right, I'll see you there. I'll hold you to it. I'll have to make a 20-year badge. All my mannerisms will be outdated. Nothing I'm saying will be funny anymore. There'll be like eight of you in here in a live stream, and I'll be like, yeah, Metal Complex Live, and I'll still be doing it the same way. <laughs> it's just with like, just super manual, just like this. <laughs> Never having updated anything. I'm not saying it. I'm sorry. That was, that was mean. He said 50s are not ancient. I'm saying in the age of YouTube... YouTube, like, YouTube, okay, you know how, like, dog years, like, one one human years at, well, is, like, seven dog years? One year on YouTube is, like, ten years, human years. Maybe not that, but maybe it's, like, five years. And it's speeding up. Every year that I still do this on YouTube this way becomes more crazy. The fact that I can still do my YouTube channel this way, in this age, is insane. I look at this and I think I've got almost half a million subscribers and I'm, I've got the most manual, most basic YouTube channel. But it's like I always say, I just, I want to keep it this way because it's fun. I could hire an editor, you know, you know, who I, uh, you know, you know who I would hire? I'll tell you what. I think I would, if I had the option and he would do it, I would hire Tri-State to be my editor. That would be the ultimate, like, per, and, and but I would have him do content with, with me. That would be my dream. If I had, my like, my dream knife channel, I would hire Tri-State to be my editor, and, and we would, like, partner do content. That would be perfect. His humor is, is, is absolute, absolute perfection. And we like a lot of the same stuff. Not everything, but enough. That, I mean, like, we have enough different there that it would be fun, but... If you if if that like some if I could rub a magic lamp and be like I want Tri-State to quit his channel and just edit and do content with me that would be the dream. Finally viewing the stream from Mountain Time. How nice! What a good time! Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. I'm glad you're here. Mean tries to break the internet. I think I feel like it, that would be a fun. That would be a good uh, permanent collab. But that's a that's you know. I'm pretty sure he does. Does he do his channel full time? Doesn't he? Uh, I guess I thought he did. I would want to do a series where he reviews stuff from my collection and I just provide like 
I just interject with commentary in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like no, it's a, no, like I I like forcibly insert my perspective when it's not called for, just unsolicited, like just interrupt. <laughs> and but I want I want him to do his edit, and I, I want it on his face. That's what I'd want. Show the Charizard. So. Uh, a pretty cool member of the Knife community knew that I was looking for this card, but I wasn't willing to pay eBay prices. And he said, I have that and I will have it authenticated for you. I have it in PSA 10 if you'd be willing to trade. And so I'm not going to give the details of that transaction because he wants to stay private. But I did. This is if you're not into Pokemon cards, you just, you know, take a sandwich break or something. This is uh, this is one of the rarest cards of the new, you know, the new stuff. The shiny, the shiny black Charizard, the shiny dark, whatever you want to call it, right? 2024, the um, the uh, special illustration, very cool. I've wanted this card for a bit now. As soon as I saw it, I just wasn't willing to pay 350, 400 bucks on eBay for it, but I was willing to trade for it. So I'm happy. I got an absolutely perfect gem mint. We'll see what that thing does over the next 10 years, but that'll stay with me for a long time. Big fan of that one. If Victorinox does like a major update to some of their classic designs, then I would be very interested in taking a look. But I don't see Victorinox changing their battle plan because that company has to do so well. <sighs> sell all of your knives and stop collecting or sell all of your Pokemon cards and stop collecting forever. No loopholes. I would sell my Pokemon cards and I'll tell you why. I only have about four or five grand in Pokemon cards. My Pokemon card collection, my old collection probably would be worth substantially more, but as many of you remember, I gave away my original Pokemon cards to my neighbor, the kid who lived literally two houses down. And the value of that collection, if I remember correctly, was probably somewhere around $75,000, which was a stupid thing to do as a 15-year-old who thought he was too cool for Pokemon cards. So... Wherever you are, congratulations for that. <clears throat> My current Pokemon card collection is probably worth four to five thousand. My current pocket knife collection, I would rather not say what it's worth. But I did go through it and calculate it and Yeah. We we've got that thing locked down now. Uh, I mean, like literally, like I had to, I had to invest in some security stuff. Yeah, Glock. Yeah, I did that once. I know, Glock. I know you're probably in the same boat as me, but the the time when I actually forced myself to go through and look, I was like, holy crap, uh, this has gotten way out of hand. I'll keep giving away knives. I have to. I have to. I'm going to keep doing it. I, I have promised that my 500k live stream will be the highest value total knives that I've ever given away, and I promise you it will be. Uh, uh, Herman donated a $1,700 knife on their own. Um, Machine Wise is donating a Damasteel Sonora. So if you've ever wanted a USA-made titanium integral knife with Damasteel... Well, you could win that. I have no idea what that's worth. Probably a lot. Uh, and there's some other fun stuff that I'm going to keep a secret. But the total value um, of everything I'm giving away will be very high. Higher than anything, any total amount of knives I've ever given away on this channel. So, so we're coming up on a half million subscribers. I mean, I got to I got to do something crazy, right? I mean, somebody did win a Herman Vespertilio at 400k. I forgot who that was, but somebody won an $800 Magna Cut Herman last time. 
What's the one on the bottom left? That's the, I'm gonna go ahead and touch it because I already did it with gloves, so sorry. It's gonna get fingerprints on it. That's the special edition um, Artisan Cutlery Boa, full time mascus, polished time mascus. Uh, mirror polished S90V. Definitely the nicest knife I've ever seen from Artisan and truthfully an excellent design. I mean, it's really, I would not know that this was made by a Chinese company if that if it didn't have the logo on it. I would assume that this was like, outside of the hardware, that would be the indicator for me. But outside of that, I'd be like, I don't know, I've never seen a, you know, outside of like Max Ace and a couple other companies, I've never seen a Chinese company do that before. Hey, Jimmy, thanks for those uh, memberships, and congrats to the people who won them. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's getting really close. Uh, it was like two or three months in a row. I think I looked at the last three months on this channel, and in three months... <laughs> In three months, this channel gained 69,000 subscribers, giggity. <laughs> so thank you very much for being a part of that. That's pretty cool. Who's that guy we gave like 100 subs to that had no content? Tech something, or maybe he has 300. There's a there's a guy I can't. That was a weird live stream. I had a few too many, and there, some guy cracked a joke, and I linked his channel, and I think he got like 300 subs <laughs> and had no content. I forget who that, that guy was. Um, but that was funny. Have I ever had a knife from Ferrum Forge? Many. If you type in Metal Complex Ferrum Forge, you'll probably find a few on YouTube. On the price range, I'd probably stay away from the trade and spend like Yeah, she, yeah, she's right. Kelly White is giving good advice there. Hey, MC, what's your favorite bench made? Um. Boy, I really like the Super Freak. I love the Super Freak, but I got to be honest with you. I think, have I been playing Dragon's Dogma 2? No, I haven't. I need to watch some some stuff on that. I have not been playing it, but I need to check it. I got a bunch of games I got to finish. I think my favorite Benchmade of all time, and it's because it was so underappreciated. And a lot of you, I bet, feel the same way as me. The Benchmade Anthem, I think, was probably the best and most underappreciated Benchmade. I also have a a special place in my heart for the Benchmade 710 um, and the Benchmade Super Freak. But there was a time where you could get a USA Titanium Integral in CPM 20 CV from Benchmade that had a not a not an Omega Spring Axis Lock, but a Coil Spring Axis Lock for $400. And everybody was complaining about the price tag. Everybody was peeing and pooping their pants over the price. $400 for a titanium integral from Benchmade. Oh my God, I'd beat down a door to pay 400 bucks for that thing now. Cortex XL or Oz Roosevelt? That's really tough, man. If you have bigger hands, you got to go with the Oz. But that's a they're pretty much tied up in quality. Wait. You're tuning away from 8,000? That's pretty close. I don't have as high a population in here right now. Hold on. We could probably get you there. Hold on. This is the channel I'm going to link. Give me a second. I just want you guys to see that. I'm going to link his actual channel here in a sec. Uh. 
Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, you are. You've got 6.3 thousand videos. Good Lord. 6.3 thousand uploads. Oh my God. All right. Um, let's pin this channel here. I'll do my best. There's only 800 people. I mean, I say I'm very appreciative that 800 people are in here, but population's not mega high at the moment. But uh, yeah, I think we can probably get you to um, 8,000. So he's trying to get to 8,000 tonight. I think we can do that. That's cool, man. You put in a crap look. I thought I had a lot of... I feel like I've seen this before. I remember being a, uh, like absolutely amazed by this at some point. I feel like I remember this channel. Yeah. Uh, but we, I think we can get you to 8,000. Make sure that you guys sub. Let's, let's help this guy out. 8,000. Especially considering he's got almost as many videos as subscribers. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. 6.3 thousand uploads. You, there's a ton of content to look through there, guys. Wow. Holy moly. Thoughts on the 550 DLC Benchmade Narrows? I mean, yeah, I gotta handle it. I know everybody wants to say overpriced, and I'm sure it is. I still, but see, here's the thing. Overpriced or not, I still want to experience what type of quality they're bringing to the table. Benchmade does make a good knife. They make a knife that's too high. It's not nearly as offensive as what James Brand does. How cool are the tactical scissors? They're very cool. I'll tell you what. All right, let's get an update here on Addicted to Blade. Seven point. Look at this. Look at this. We're almost there, guys. He's got 7,870 subscribers. He just wants to get to 8,000 tonight. We can do that. Link right at the top of chat. I'll remind everybody this guy has created 6,300 uploads and has just shy of 8,000 subscribers. Criminally undersubscribed to considering the amount of work that has gone into this channel. Believe me, I know. You've done more work than I have. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Amazing. If you're watching on your TV right now, just get on your phone and type in addicted to blades and then the number two. It's a blue circle with a white fixed blade in the middle of it. it says addicted to blades. He's got seven, almost just real close here. 7.9. He's so close. 7.9. Come on, let's, let's do it. Let's finish it up. So close. <clears throat> I love doing this. I, I like that you guys have enjoyed this trend of like using the live streams to help content creators reach certain goals. That's fun for me. And it's obviously fun for them. Oh crap, I reloaded my own live stream. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of uploads, right? Homer Feltes, well, I'm sorry if I mispr mispronounce your name. Welcome to the Knights Around Knights. Raise your swords for Homer. Enjoy the badges and Excalibur emojis. I don't talk about that as often. Knights, you want to raise your swords real quick? We'll talk about the membership program. Been watching Shit's Creek. The membership program. That's my best, Moira. Sorry about that. Um... Yeah, if you want to join Knights of the Round and get your own badge, get your own sword, there you go, swords in chat. I add to these, I create new sword emojis every few months. Lots of stuff you'll probably recognize. If you want to support the channel, get your own badge, get your own sword. You'll get all the swords, right? But get your own badge, it'll rank up in color over time. Open the description and click on the second link in the channel. I'm sorry, third link in the description that says become a member of my channel. And you can join if you'd like. Where is he at for subscribers? Let's see. 7,950. He literally needs 50 more subs. If you're thinking, I ain't doing that, I ain't doing that, just say, listen, just, 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 just be like, okay, all right, fine, Metal Complex for you. Just because you really, you really seem to want it and you, you make a lot of content. You're giving away free knives. You know what? I think I can go ahead and do this for you, right? If that's what, if that's your thought process, then go, just go ahead and do it. Do yourself a favor. 
He needs 40 more subs. Link right at the top of chat. Trying to get him to 8,000 subs tonight. All right, twist my arm. You know, come on. Imagine me just twisting your arm just a little bit. Not enough to hurt, just, you know, a friendly arm twisting. You got 114 off your mention last week. Oh, nice. That's cool, man. Hashtag influencer. Don't call me that. <laughs> That's still weird to me. I don't, I don't like thinking. Think of me as like a friendly guy who can like high five you a whole bunch of times in a row. I'm a guy who's got 114 hands to high five you right in, right in the palm or the face or wherever you want it. Think of me as that. <laughs> Just think of me of a guy who who can high five you right in the right smack dab in the middle of your pie hole just 114 times in a row. <laughs> wow, thanks. All right. Hey, he did it. He did it. 8,000 subscribers. All right. Awesome. Good for you. You deserve it, man. <laughs> all right. Now I'm putting my Patreon back up there, and I don't want to hear any more about it, all right? No more. I'm putting my own Patreon back up there. <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll probably do it again tonight. Congrats. Yeah, now you got to do a giveaway. You hit 8,000. Now you got to do a giveaway for your subscribers. Forgive, listen to me pressuring him. He's like, whoa, dude, I didn't, I didn't, like, <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't, you, yeah, that's, there's no obligation there. I just, it was, I'm happy that people discovered your channel. You clearly deserve for people to discover your channel. You're, no, you're under no obligation to do a giveaway. I'm totally kidding. Overbuilt bottom left three. That is the Max A Sandstorm V2 M390, and it's a titanium integral with a pin lock and a screw down over travel stop. So it has three locks, technically. Well, it's got two locks and one shield against disengagement. So truly a monster. 180 thousands on the uh, on the spine there. Absolutely overbuilt. Very, very big, big fat boy. How'd you get a full deal say Herman? Can I buy yours? You cannot, but um, so Herman told me that they were going to start doing this and they offered to let me pick it up. And I said, yes. Uh, and you know, that works out for them. It works out for me because they, they knew I wanted it and that works out for them because it, it let the, let people know like, Hey, Herman can do DLC now. So that's why I have that. I was given special treatment for that. Just going to be honest. You've never seen another one. They definitely will do them. Herman's obviously able to produce a lot more now. There's a lot of attention on them and they've, they've ramped up production, which they're doing a great job of. You got to give it to Herman. Like they pump knives out. They're still small batch, but they're getting them out, right? It seems like they are near, they're, they're getting near like, they only have a couple of retailers. It's just Polish custom knives and DLT, but they're getting knives to them at pretty good intervals. New order of neck knives and paracord on the way. All right, cool. Nice. Check out Alicord paracord. The Rack 1902 is good. There's a couple of frayed edges on the inlay, but it's still very good. Couple of little spots right here. I'll talk about it in the review, but very, very good. I feel like maybe I just got kind of a boner of a, of a model here. Still cool though. Far right, the scissors, let's talk about the scissors. It's the right tactical scissors. 
Everybody's like, oh, my, my kitchen shears do the same thing. They don't. Your kitchen shears are, are crap, all right? They are not this. This is cool. Your kitchen shears are for cutting up tofu or whatever you do with them. I'm just kidding. Um, but these are super cool. They're really nice. They're just, you know, they're really expensive. And they're 4116, which isn't anything special. But you are, like, the, the machine work on these is ridiculous. And that tip is unreal. I mean, these, these are a weapon. They're definitely... Like, I, I just bought a nice set of, like, kitchen cutlery and, and scissors and everything. And I, I was like, wow, these are really nice. These make my kitchen shears look like garbage. They're just, like, trash from... I think in the in the one of the videos I said it looked like trash from Planet Trash. Flap, fresh off the pile of trash at the peak of Mount Trash on Planet Trash. That's essentially how they compare to my current kitchen shears. Hey, there's about a thousand people in here. What's up? Thank you for spending your evening with me. I appreciate that. One thousand people coming from all over the place. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys a story. Oh man, I have a story. All right. Let me preface this story with a statement because I want to make this perfectly clear. I have a feeling that after I tell this story, it's going to ruffle the feathers of at least one individual in particular. It's story time, so settle settle in, all right? Listen up. I don't care what your political, you know, alignment is. I, I think it's perfectly fine for everybody to have their own political beliefs. That's fine. I personally like to keep mine to myself. But however you go about that is fine. It's your own business, right? So I'm gonna be telling a story, and I'm gonna I'm talk I'm gonna be talking about a couple of people, and I'm gonna keep their names out of it, um, just out of in this uh, privacy and respect in general. So I have a lot of different friends, and my friends here uh, locally, and my friends here on on Instagram and social media, they all have varying political views. And I, me personally, I don't really care. I can be friends with somebody who doesn't believe in the same things that I do, and that's fine with me. Um, I uh, I don't have a problem with that. It's there's a reason that I have a no politics policy on this channel, and it's because I, I feel like I, we should focus on the things that we agree on, which in this case is pocket knives, right? I don't like it when political stuff interferes with the stuff that we are enjoying because it makes a real mess of it, right? And there's no shortage of that crap all over the internet. You can throw a rock in any direction and find whatever political nonsense you want to get involved in. You do that if you want. We don't do it here. I have a friend, actually I have many friends who post political things on social media periodically. I do not. You can go to my YouTube, you can go to my Instagram, I have zero political posts. Never have, never will. But I have some friends who do. They don't shove it down my throat, they just post it on their own pages, which is fine. It's their own pages, I don't really care. Right? That has nothing to do with me, and as long as they're not filling my inbox with their own political opinions, I don't care. Somebody cared. Somebody cared that a person that I interact with on a regular basis had posted something political. Fine. I want to emphasize this again. I don't care. It's not my business. It's their page. They can do what they want. It doesn't matter if I agree or disagree. It's their business, right? This person came into my DMs and said, Hey, you! Now you listen here, Metal Complex. A person that you're friends with posted a political post that I was in deep discussion with and they decided to turn off the comments. Whatever. I, I mean, honestly, some people have, you know, hardcore feelings about that. You turn your comments off, you leave them on, whatever. I don't care what you think about that, you can think whatever you want. The person that I'm friends with decided to turn their comments off and this person was heated because they were in the middle of arguing, right? Because it's social media and of course, everybody likes to think that their argument matters. The time they put into it really, really matters. And that was shut down. So they had, I mean, in reality, what was happening is they had no means of ventilation. So they came to me, not anybody else in, that had anything to do with the post that was, again, completely unrelated to me. They came to me to tattle. Hey, you, your friend said some stuff that I didn't like and I I feel strongly about it. And I, you shouldn't associate with that person. And I was like, well, 
That has nothing to do with me, so I don't know what you want me to do. And this continued. He's like, well, by being friends with him and, you know, you know, sometimes they send you knives and you, you're, you're essentially supporting uh, their political views. And I said, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> we don't talk politics. I don't care what they think. Uh, so can you just go away? <laughs> and they just pushed and pushed and pushed. And I said, dude, I don't like blocking people, but I, I can't do this with you. I don't care. Uh, this, this sounds like, you know, high school drama. Uh, I, I said, you're acting like what I assume a 15 year old would act like. And I don't care. Uh, daddy is not going to solve your problems. You'll have to go back to the playground and solve your problems for yourself. They didn't like that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I told him to F off. And I said, why don't you take it to Reddit? Why don't you roll the dice on Reddit and see how that works out for you? Well, come to find out months later, somebody sent me a screenshot today and they said, did you know that this person actually did take it to Reddit? They exploded on a sales post and went on this long rant about exactly what I was talking about. The funny part was everybody in the sales post was like, what are you talking about? This has nothing to do with the sales post. I read over it. It was so, it was so satisfying. I'm not a petty person, but I did take joy in reading this. I'm not on Reddit. In the sales post, they originally had posted this big long rant about me and how much how much of a dickhead I was because I, you know, called him a teenager and said, just F off, man. I don't care about this. And uh, the the all of the people commenting, there were people posting images of like trains crashing, <laughs> and people were like so confused. And the, the the mods were like, "You gotta, you gotta, we gotta delete that. This is a sales thread." Somebody screenshotted it before it got deleted, and they put it. You can still view it if you really want to. It's in a weird subreddit called Knife Swamp. K n i f e s w a m p. About a month ago. Somebody screenshotted it and it was the most unhinged, ridiculous. And the funny thing was, is the post was people going, oh my God, what is this? The guy actually came back. The most satisfying part of it for me was the guy came into Knife Swamp to defend himself yet again. And the cherry on top of this was whoever posted the Mean Girls gif. I laughed so hard at that because I, I was like, man, this guy's being delivered the same message by everyone. But some people are just so blind to it. They don't realize what they're doing. And I just, I looked at that and I laughed and I thought, this is, this is just an unhinged person. And I, <laughs> I don't, like, I had no idea what was even happening. He did take it to Reddit and it blew up in his face twice. Unreal. Ridiculous. Don't let politics interfere with the love, the love that you have for your hobby. It's a ridiculous waste of time. There's a there's a place for it and it's not there's there's sections for stuff like this. People get into debates with knife deals, it makes no sense. I agree. God man, just leave that out. It's so ridiculous. And you always end up looking like a clown. Always. If you need like people need to vent, they need to like get people to team up with them, and it, this this just ended up blowing up in this person's face. And there's no way, the sad part is, there's no way this person learned anything from it. He had hundreds, literally hundreds of people going, this is this is terrible, it, it looks ridiculous, I, I don't know. Even people who didn't like me, that was the part I was laughing at the most. People who were like, yeah, Metal Complex sucks, but you're crazy. <laughs> I laughed so hard, like, he can't, there's, he can't do anything. There's, 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 no, there's no outlet for this type of behavior. It's insane. hobby has no need for toxic people we need more people to just give great information help exactly i agree keep the politics out of it i mean like you know listen create your own little discord and then you and like 17 other people can just like piss and moan about everything that's fine right do that but like nobody else wants to hear it the problem is is that people think that there are tons of people who want to hear it and there's not people come here for one thing they don't want political stuff invading it. So you can't win that argument. And I told the guy, I said, you're wasting your time, man. This is so stupid. Take it to Reddit. I, I told him, I said, take it to Reddit and roll the dice. Because I thought if he does it, it's going to blow up in his face. And that's exactly what happened. And 
you can see like the bewilderment. Like you can read, he posted these gigantic long books trying to defend himself. And I was like, this dude is completely perplexed as to why any, nobody is, is taking his side. And it's like, here's why, because it was dumb in the first, it was a dumb thing to do in the first place. Don't waste your time. Don't invest so much emotional energy in it because nobody wants it. I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing. I didn't even know it was a thing. This happened three months ago and he made the post a month ago, which means he invested three months, at least two months of emotional energy into something that no one cared about. It is a waste of time. You can have your own political views and I think that's important, but man, calibrate, calibrate. Enjoy what you enjoy. Spend time enjoying what you enjoy, right? Take some time to work on the things that you believe in, that's fine. But there are different compartments for stuff like that. Yeah, we can talk about knives. I mean, uh, you know, there's always, listen, every live stream I get a little off the rails. We got off the rails once. We can go back to, I think, hold on. You know what time it is? Time for a bathroom break. That's a good time. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm back. I want to cap this off by leaving one final statement here about this. I know most of you don't want to hear it, but I want to say this. You cannot hold whoever your favorite content creator is or your favorite content producer is or retailer. You cannot hold them accountable for the political opinions of people who they interact with on social media. Every major account that I interact with, every major content creator, retailer, all these different people, individuals that I interact with, we all hold dramatically different political views. To hold any individual person accountable for somebody else's political opinions is effing nonsense. That is a stupid thing to invest your energy in. The, be the best thing we can do is understand that people have different perspectives, and that's okay. Not everybody has to think exactly like me for me to be friends with them. I would rather focus on the things that we have in common, which is why I love doing these live streams, because I know every single one of you, most of you, there's probably one guy in here who's like really into frogs and he just accidentally stumbled into a knife live stream, but most of us are into pocket knives, which is what makes this fun. So please, if you take one thing away from my live stream tonight, please understand the best thing about the knife community is that we can all agree on one thing. Knives are awesome and we should really focus on that. VTAC 99, thanks for your donation. What's the black and blue knife bottom fifth left to the right? The black and blue? Oh yeah, I'll talk about it here in a sec. Uh, black and blue. This one, one, two, three, four, five. That's the Reich 1902 re-release. M390 glass blasted, dark titanium frame. Polished blue and gold hardware. Polished blue backspacer. 250 bucks. Not a bad way to spend 250 For real. This one, I'm going to be honest with you, has a couple of frayed edges on the inlay. But outside of that, it's a beautiful example of what Reich can do. I have an old 1902 from Reich that is perfect. 
So I imagine this one's a little big, bit of a booger boner. Which is a word you can use now. It's all one word, by the way. Copyright Metal Complex. Charizard belongs here. You will all accept Charizard. Charizard belongs here. <laughs> Someone typed hashtag booger boner. That's such a gross word. I'm sorry. That has way too many syllables. For. Uh, <laughs> No, there's no hyphen. It's all one word. It's just, it's a new word. I just decided that it was. You like that brown knife? Me too. I love this thing, man. That XL Cortex is just the right size. And let me tell you, for people who have reservations against top flippers, I get it, but this one is hooked way back. It is so satisfying. And look at this action. Come on. Look at that. Look at that nested thick liner. Oh, that's so good. Look at that. Come on. And you can use the fuller. Yes. It's 850 bucks. In-house USA. I know that's not for everybody, right? But if you're in that market, brown knives, XL Cortex. To the right of the knife I'm holding. Oh yeah, that's the that's one of my slims. Oh, the Lady of the Lake has re retained the services Brown Kruven and maybe the Jungle Law, the Excalibur thing. <laughs> wait, wait. Bradford Mitchell, thanks for your donation. Has retained the services Brown Kruven and maybe the Jungle Law on the Excalibur thing. Okay, I'll have to check on that. <laughs> the Br <laughs> I don't know what to do with that comment. This is a special uh, zirconium Timascus, full zirconium Timascus um, hinder, I'm sorry, Herman Slim in Alema Damax, which is a special layer. Now, somebody correct me. Is this Sandvik? Is this the same? Is Alema like a partner with Sandvik? I heard that somewhere and I might be wrong. Can anybody confirm that? Very cool. And can you feel this? Yes. Super smooth. Honestly, my smoothest. Scary smooth, this one. It's not. Thank you, Reaper Joe. I feel like that was a rumor, and I, I, I don't... I didn't believe that to be the case. So... Is it... Is Alema a Swedish company? Can we confirm that Alema is... Swedish. I don't have I don't have the small Oz, I'm sorry. Oh, you know what we should do, right? You you guys know what's a great time for us to meet. Here, you know, here, for everybody's entertainment, I'm gonna plug my Instagram as fast as I possibly can to the point where it's almost pointless because you won't be able to understand what I'm saying. Are you ready? <laughs> wondered what I do on Patreon? Well, I'm glad you asked. All I do is I take the money that you give me and I spend it on knives and I can take those knives and turn them into content. Do you want to give me some money for knives? You can give me money for knives. All you have to do is click in the content right on top of the comment section right there. It's pinned. It says Middle Complex Patreon. All I have to do is click on that. You can join for a dollar a month. You have a dollar a month? I bet you do. You can take that, give it to me, and I'm going to turn it into knives and take those knives and turn it into content. Some of them I'll give away. Some of them I'll actually sell back to you for 50% discount. Does that sound great? Honestly, it sounds like a used car salesman pitch. <laughs> That is actually what I do, um, legitimately. Uh, you can support my channel via Patreon if you want to. It's right at the top. <laughs> it's right, That really hurt. That hurt my face to do that. If you would like to be a part of private knife, uh, knife sales on Patreon, private giveaways, private once-a-week content, private Patreon chat, private Discord, buy, sell, and trade. You can actually gain access to all of those benefits by clicking the link at the top of the comment section that says my Patreon. Um, I do a lot of great stuff there and I give away a lot, lot of really cool stuff. 
A lot of the stuff that I get for free is given away, but a lot of it is actually sold to Patreons at a huge discount. Um, so it's a good way to get something that you like and not have to pay a whole lot of money. You can actually pay a year in advance, and I think it costs like $10.50. There's a bunch of benefits there for a dollar a month or $10 a year. It's up to you. The link's right at the top. If you don't want to do that, I promise to continue to give away stuff here on the channel for free. I could rap. I could rap. I'm just going to throw that out there. I could do it. You say we're plugging your Insta and plug Patreon instead? Or yeah, I said plug Insta. Yeah, I got to, I got too into. Sorry, there's too many social media platforms. You have to like. That's the that's the thing that sucks about being a content creator. You have to like cross platform all the time. Absolutely priceless. I can't wait for somebody to screen record that and turn it into a reel <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> if you do that, if you screen record that and turn it into a reel, please tag me in it. That'd be a great promo. <laughs> I have to show us the bar. No, I have to write. I have to write a rap. Transparent Knives has the knife rap game down and the knife music game down. I can't compete with him. Ty Shadow obtained it. Oh, that's awesome! Late to the party here. How's Project Metal Complex Excalibur? If, now that there's 1,200 people here, I'll give everybody the update. Prototype V3 is on its way to me. Three different variants. It is so near completion that I think I'm going to reveal it. I'm not going to reveal release dates or pre-order dates, but I am going to reveal the model itself. And I'm doing this because the 500k giveaway is coming up. And ideally, after I've quality checked this stuff, I would like to give away one of the prototypes during my half million subscriber giveaway. Um, so I'm going to, I'm absolutely going to use it as a promotion for the giveaway. And I'm going to use the giveaway as a promotion for the model itself, which I feel like is just a good business move. But Ultimately, I'd like for one of my subscribers to end up with one of my very first prototypes. So, um, yes, that will be happening soon. Has anyone ever told you to sell like Tom Hanks? All the time. All the time. The, the lady at the Starbucks window told me that like two weeks ago. Like, you sound like Tom Hanks. I was like, yeah, lady, give me my coffee. <laughs> Thanks for your donation. All right, it's 7.30. I think it's probably about time to move the knives off. Here, here's what I'll do, because I know you guys get mad at me when I don't do this. I'm going to go through each knife individually and tell you guys what they are, and then we'll do, do the giveaway. So this is the Rob Johnson's Cedar. Some of these I, I can't remember. This is the Hawk Shortcut, which I actually use all the time. I, I really love the Shortcut. It's one of the most expensive box cutters. It's fully custom, you know, but... I think these are like 450 bucks, but it, man, it's cool and it's fun to use. And that pocket clip is just so cool. I, I love this thing. Hawk is, is nuts. The most expensive knife in my collection, that's the, the Dark Star for lack of saying everything. Cracked ice, polished DLC, multi-compound stitch, titanium frag with the, um, the, uh, this is a Marfione and Borka custom with the, uh, blue tritium inserts uh, that's that's far and away the most expensive knife in the collection um we have the crown jewel of the collection much less expensive but my favorite knife in the collection which is of course the sharp by design arch nemesis that's custom and u.s made the uh annex the reich made microtech authorized integral annex in well let's, let's say coded i'm not i'm not convinced it's dlc but maybe i'm wrong Skiff Fugitive, really cool. And if you're thinking about spending near a thousand dollars on a USA Super Custom, check out Skiff. Everybody knows they make great bearings. He makes an even better knife, believe it or not. These are absolutely epic. One of the most worthy knives to spend that type of money on is a Skiff. I don't know what this is. If you looked at the CGRB Pyrite with the opening hole and got, go, gosh darn it, that really pisses me off because they covered the opening hole with the over with the uh, scale. Whatever this is solves that problem. What is this? Can somebody say it in chat so I can announce it? Prado. Yeah, the Prado is excellent. 
what is this? 54 bucks. AR RPM 9. For a lot of people, I just found your next budget knife right here. CJRB Prado. Buy it. 54 bucks is awesome. Ah, uh, this is the USA in, in um, uh, EMP EDC. It's the USA collab with Axial. Sick. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Help me. Help! Pulse. Thank you. Christ. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Um, but thank you for that. Textured aluminum, textured pocket clip. Really cool. I can say boner booger, but <laughs> I have reservations, I guess. My custom CTS XHP zirconiums. Um, uh, sorry, fingerprints. Oil slick zirconium uh, shaman. That's a fun one. Custom made with med embossed scales for full zirconium. Weighs eight and a half ounces. Now you cannot you cannot advertise. You do not have permission to advertise Shopify. Sorry, I have to watch it. It's an unskippable ad, and I'm too cheap to pay for YouTube premium. So we'll all just have to get through it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Brown XL Cortex. Excellent. Again, another worthy US knife if you're gonna pay close to a grand. Um, Alema Damax and Gold and Magenta Zerka Tie Herman Slim. Smoothest one I own. Um, the frustrating but beautiful uh, Python from Spider Co. Peter Zanti, have to name drop there. We have the probably the coolest um, Vero I have. This is Vero Synapse XL, end cut carbon fiber, zirconium pocket clip, and zirconium backspacer. Please, please, Vero, come on, more with the Zerk, more with the Zerk. You need full Zerk on these things, man. People want the Zerk. The John Wick 4. I will remind you, serial number 4 of the John Wick 4 edition Hawk Deadlock in titanium. DLC titanium and DLC for the blade. That's a special one. Arguably the most special of the ones that are out there. Just want you guys to know this is serial number 4. Pretty cool. And then I have a regular one, which is also cool. This is the one I keep debating on EDCing. Model C. Rack Tactical Scissors, we talked about that one. OG, Demco, USA Demco 8020, full titanium, old school with the with the rounded screws here. EPM 20 CV, Oz Machine Company Roosevelt XL, uh, the most ergonomic knife I've ever handled. I mean, hands down. It's the best ergonomics on, on a knife I've ever handled. Uh, Max A Sandstorm 2. Integral M390, very cool. We don't see this uh, rock pattern as often anymore. That's the new Vero Neuron double detent, not non-locking. Cool, great office carry knife. Excellent. Just got that. You haven't seen it unboxed yet. Pretend you didn't see it, and then watch the video. Uh, Reich 1902. Uh, oh yeah, this guy. This is really cool. So this is the Real Steel Evolution. Carson Design. Resurrected. I didn't realize this was already a thing. Runs on washers is a button-operated titanium frame lock with a safety switch, meaning you cannot disengage the frame lock. This is actually a pretty hardcore user. Phosphor bronze, safety lock on the frame lock, button-operated, S35VN, 250 bucks. Pretty cool. This is kind of an unsung hero right now. If you're looking for a hardcore but still EDCable pocket knife, these are very smooth for operating on phosphor bronze. Look at this. Phosphor bronze. Pretty good. Honestly, pretty impressive. Like that one a lot. That's my Beater XM18. That's the old Harpoon Spanto and S35VN that desperately needs a touch up. Uh, Gen 6, early Gen 6 in full tie. Is that milled? Yeah, it's a milled scale. Uh, Hawk and Surge Rook. I know everybody likes that one. The clickiest knife I own. Very cool. Love that one. 
DLC Herman Dragonfly, full DLC. I think that might be one of the only ones in existence. But there'll be more. There'll be more. Don't worry, the value of mine will go down. Uh, Herman Ishtar in DLC Dam uh, Damasteel, which is pretty rare. And then we see the... We see we see together the gold PVD on the titanium. Pretty cool. Gen 1. Well, not Gen 1. It's the older of the newer Scarabs. Shadow Scarab. Definitely my favorite OTF of the bunch. Big boy. Big fat boy. And the full titanium artisan cutlery boa in S90V, mirror polished S90V. Shiny. Ooh. All right. And Charizard. If you know, you know. Right? If you're into Pokemon, you know this is the this is the one right now for the new batch. Thank you to the person who traded that to me. I really wanted that. I did not want to pay 350 bucks for that thing on eBay. So thank you. All right, we got a brand new, we got a fresh batch of 20 here. And by the way, if you haven't done this yet, pay attention here now. 1,385, you pay attention. Okay, how to enter? There's a link in the description. If you're just now showing up in chat and you're like, I'm here, I'm entered. You're not yet. You have to actually do this. Which means if you're watching on TV, you need to find a mobile device where you have access to the description. That's the only way you can enter. You need to open the description and click on the first link that says how to enter. Live participation required. How to enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God dang it, this skater died. Hold on. It's so loud. Um, you have to actually follow the instructions. Open the description, click on the link. It's a short video that explains the rules. Don't worry, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you pay for anything. Just click on the link and leave a comment. You're entered. It is not exclusive to patrons. It is not exclusive to channel members. If you're here, you can enter. Where's the last one? Oh, here it is. Okay, can we fit everything? Just barely. Just gotta make it clear for everybody to be able to see. Okay, I'll give you guys some time to enter. You need to do that quickly. Still 1,400 people. I mean, this is, you know, we're getting into spring. People are spending time outside. I'm still very appreciative of the massive population that's in here right now. Feeling... Uh, honestly, like, it's really cool that so many of you join me live. I'm super flattered by that. And I want to say that every time we do a live stream. It's really cool. Thank you so much. Four hundred and sixty nine thousand six hundred and forty three subscribers. I'll just remind you guys. You should check real quick to see if you're subscribed to my channel. I'm trying to get to 500k where I will do one of the most ridiculous giveaways the knife world has ever seen. And I mean that historically. I'm going to give away some of the most ridiculous knives the Knife World has ever seen on YouTube. I'm going to do that. I know that that's factually correct. So if you want to be a part of that, subscribe. Turn your notifications on. It's actually a good time to check and see if your notifications are, in fact, on. You don't want to miss that. There's going to be literally thousands and thousands of dollars of pocket knives given away. Including my very first knife design, potentially. So we'll have to see. Um, give me a sec here. I'm just trying to find the video and, and copy the link here. It's a cool, nice little tune here. Ah, hold on. Hold on. Arlo thing's going off. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Give me a sec. What? The, the doorbell thing. Hold on.
Alright, that's annoying. Apparently it was nothing. Alright. Give me a sec. Just about there. Okay. We're at the Comment Picker website. Let's refresh the page so it's absolutely fresh. We're going to link the... Here's the link. I'm going to let you guys look at it. Everybody can type that into their browsers. Make sure I'm not pulling a fast one on you. Let's go down. We're going to filter duplicate users, which is checked. Let's see how many of you entered. A lot. 1,613. It's about the norm. All right, you ready? Two winners tonight. Each winner will be selecting two of the mystery pouches directly behind the iPad. Whatever you open up is yours. There are three knives in there valued at near $300. At least, I think they're at least $250. There's some mid-range knives and then there's a bunch of budget knives, but everything in there is fun. So, and there are two things in there that are not knives, but still cool things that knife people will like. Whoops. The first winner is at 999 Man. I won. This is the best Christmas ever. Thanks, Metal Claws. You're welcome. Congratulations. I love comments like that because they leave them clearly not expecting to win. <laughs> Let's find this person in chat. Looks like a picture of a black lab. Nice dog choice there. I know everybody wants to say congrats, but let's slow down so that they can make themselves known in chat. He's here, there he is right there, JB Underground, which I know you're thinking that's not the same name. It's because his YouTube identification is different than his screen name, but that is, in fact, the actual logo there. So, JB Underground is the winner. Congratulations. JB, you get to choose from the fresh batch of 20. I need two numbers, one through 10 up top, one through 10 on the bottom, or two numbers up top, two numbers on bottom. You just specify, and I'll pull. Watching chat, watching chat for him. He's thinking. Go, JB. Where's he at? What does he want? What does he want? What does he want? Number eight and number 12. I'm assuming that means top and bottom. One, two, just confirm yes. One, two, three, four. Wait, number 12? I don't have a 12. One through 10, one through 10. <laughs> I mean, that could mean like this one. He said 8 and 12. I don't have 12. I got 10 and 10. <laughs> 8 and 2 is probably what he means. It's what it's probably what he means. Like we're going 10 and then 20. So I'm assuming he wants 8 and 2. This one and this one. These are the two you want. I just need his, him to confirm. I don't want to. I don't want to screw him over. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's, that's an easy mistake. I mean, it's not technically a mistake. I was counting in order. Yeah, eight and two. All right. Yeah. No. I. I knew. What you, I knew what he meant. Don't make fun of him. I knew what he meant. <laughs> Your first knife. Oh, you got the other. Rhino liner lock. This is the OD green and black in, I believe, four. No, these are D2. G10 and D2 liner lock, uh, flipper and thumb stud operator. Good knife. Just a straight up good budget knife. Second knife. Oh, you got one of the things that's not a knife. This is the off grid uh, rotating. Uh, it's actually got nice bearings on it the rotating uh, bit driver, and you have the bits that'll be installed, and you'll also get the O-rings that are included there. So I don't have the O-rings on so that I can demonstrate the... 
just they're magnetized. <laughs> There's they do come out, I promise. Here. Instead of messing around with it. The bits are magnetized, which is good. You want them to stay in there, but you do use O-rings as well. But there you go. So the idea here is, of course, spin it like that. It's pretty cool. And if you don't have a driver, check out off-grid knives. They're not paying me to say this. I just think the driver's cool. But it does spin really nicely, and it's a cool driver. So there you go. That'll be yours. Just tuck that guy. I, I do like that it's... Right. They're magnetized in there. I would rather have a hard time getting them out than lose the bits. So... There you go. So all you need to do to claim your prizes, I'm going to emphasize a bunch of points here, so pay attention. Get your notepad out. Email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com. Don't worry. You can just go back if I move this out of the way too quickly and you can check it yourself. Give me your full name, your shipping information, and the exact two things that you won. I will get back to you no later than Friday of next week. If I don't email you back right away, don't worry. That's normal. Sometimes I don't respond to anybody until Friday, the day of shipping, okay? Uh, you'll get your tracking information, and then you'll receive both of these things with any packing stuff that they came with. All right. We got nine and nine now. The watch is pissing you off? Why? You don't like my tutor? Why is this making you mad? What's wrong with my watch? I love this watch. All right. Next winner. I don't know what that was about. I'm sure he's joking. Pick another winner. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Everybody who's ever won doesn't think they're going to win. Have faith. It could be you. I haven't done it yet. James Mc... James Gamun. So much knife art. Yes. Brown J. Brown J in chat. That's what we're looking for. Look in, look in. I know that's a fairly common thing. There's a bunch of brown jays in here. I'm looking for the right shade, but also I will confirm this because I know that's pretty common. Hold on. Give me a sec. Yeah, listen, if you're thinking like this makes it tough on Metal Complex, change your profile picture to something unique. It makes it so much easier to identify you. Do that tonight. Change your pic change your profile picture to something you don't everybody's gonna pick coleslaw or corn dogs. Don't do that. Has anyone seen this actual person yet? I haven't seen him. All right, slow down, guys. Slow down. Slow down. I love you all, but for the love of God, stop typing. Please. Oh, my God. Nobody listens. I don't have any control here. Who am I kidding? Two minutes on the clock. All right. James, if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry you missed out. Please email me. I don't want to leave you out. Email me. We'll work something out. Metalcomplex87 at gmail.com. Don't email me if you're not James. It's so easy for me to figure this out. But James, the real James, okay, I'm sorry you missed out. Email me. We'll do something, all right? I can make time. Um, let's pick a new winner. No, wait, he's here? He's here? Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on. Slow chat down. I want to know who it is. Is he actually here? All right, people are saying liar. The actual James, it's very easy for me to figure out and authenticate you. So just email me if I mess this up or if you're not, you know, if you're here in the future. All right, yeah. We do it manually. I know that there are better ways to do this, but we do it manually because it's fun. All right, so, like, don't mess with me. It's not It's not a good idea, I promise you. It's not, it's, it's not worth your time, it's not worth my time. I don't like to have my time wasted. But the actual James, please email me. I showed my email in chat, I can figure out who you are and we'll make it worth your while, all right? In the meantime, if you're trying to pull a fast one, knock it off. So we can get the actual winners what they need, okay? What they actually want. All right, we're gonna pick a new winner, James. If you're here, email me. We'll work it out, buddy. All right. All right. The winner is Mick Saga. Been a minute since I joined a live. Time to try my luck. That's a much easier profile picture to identify. Mick Saga. Congratulations. You're the winner. I love everybody here, but come on, I come on, let's make come on. Just be a good. I know the vast majority of you guys are being cool, but we got a couple of people being dickheads. Hey, there he is. Easy. Right there. He's right there. Easy. Nailed it. Super unique profile picture. Easy. Make your profile picture something unique. Take a note from Mick Saga. Look at this. That's a blue guy with orange hat. It's... I don't even know what it is, but I know what it looks like, right? It's easy. Easy. Got him. One through nine, one through nine. Two on top, two on bottom. Nine, nine. Just be specific and I'll pull it for you. Shay, thanks for that uh, membership there. All right, slow chat down. Let me talk. Let me talk. Hold on. I know you you guys are saying he said two and two. Let me see. Let me hear it from him. I missed it. Say it again, Mick. Or Mitch. Two and two. Okay. Two. Two. We got it. Oh, that's a heavy one. <laughs> okay. All right. Top one's lightweight. Oh, you got one of the premium. That's the Chavez pen. <laughs> that's the Chavez pen. That's cool. So, fully titanium milled, Chavez, uh, special pen, uh, uh, special is the wrong word, but their exclusive, like, their actual brand made pen with the Chavez clip. That's actually really cool. I wanted to keep this, but I have so many pens. I'll give you a look at that. It's actually really nice. Even if you're not into pens, you'll love this. It's really cool. And I didn't know up until just recently that Chavez was making pens, so I thought I'll include that in the pouch. So that one's yours. And then this one's a, this is a heavy boy. Oh yes, that's right. The duplicate of one of the ones that I gave away on a different live stream, the large uh, Dirk Pinkerton AR RPM 9 G10. What is the name of this? Big ass knife. Help me out. What's the name of this one? What's the name of this one? Somebody help me. Resource, is it? Yeah, the CJRB Resource. Badass, big, nine inch, I think almost nine inch or over nine inch folder. G10 liner lock, AR RPM 9, you'll like that one. Tumbled, very good blade. All right. Email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your first and last name, the exact knives that you won, and your complete shipping information. A lot of people forget to give me their first and last name. Please give me your first and last name. Don't post your first and last name publicly. Give it to me privately where I will not share it with anyone. All right. Congrats. All 
All right. Awesome. Congrats to the winners. I got a little bit snippy. I got a little bit snippy. I got to apologize to you guys. I got a little snippy there. I got a little irritated. That was, uh... <laughs> that was my bad. I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know... <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm trying to run this, trying to give away knives. I don't usually... You, I don't usually lose composure. That was me losing it. I lost it. I went to a 10. All right. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I got a little, I got a little upset. I got a little, some of the sour grapes came out. <laughs> if I was an anime character, I would not be very powerful because going all in would be basically like, hey, now you listen here, you bunch of hooligans. You need to behave. <laughs> My ultimate move is, you guys are dickheads. Don't be a dickhead. I was miffed to the, I was uh, miffed to the max, all right? I was perturbed. <laughs> now you listen here, buddy. <laughs> The number of times I heard my dad say that to one of his, like, my dad runs a construction company. When I was a kid, every now and then he'd get after one of his guys, and my dad would say stuff like that. <laughs> it's funny. The commanding presence, like, he would say that, and they would listen. He'd be like, now you listen here, buddy. You measure twice and cut once. You measured once, and you cut it like four times, and it doesn't fit. Now you tell me. <laughs> oh man. We gotta bring Charizard back out here. God, the experience I I got from working on my dad's construction sites as like a nine or a ten year old. Holy moly. Did you guys have fun? Even if you didn't win, did you have fun? It's fun, right? Come on, I need this reaffirmation. Tell me that my place on YouTube is still justified. I'm becoming old. I'm over the hill for YouTube age, okay? In terms of YouTube years, I am more than a middle-aged man, all right? So I'm going out. It's very possible that my time on YouTube and my, my you know presence on YouTube is peaked. It's very possible that I'm slowly becoming irrelevant. So I need this reaffirmation. I'm willing to accept this. Six years on YouTube, guys. Six years. That's ain't that's old. That's old in YouTube years. If I make it a decade, that's legendary. Running a channel like this for a decade would be legendary. Six years, I consider, I can, I, I'm very, uh, I'm honored to have been here for six years. February was my six year, February 14th of 2024 was my six year anniversary on YouTube. MC OnlyFans, you don't want to see that. You want to see that. Do you like small legs and a much larger, disproportionate upper body? Well, then you'll want to join the MC OnlyFans. Size 13 shoe? <laughs> Maybe you like size 13 feet. Maybe I could do that. I only have a couple moles on my feet, so. Hey, Doc, thanks for those memberships, man. Appreciate that. Very nice. Can you name my next child? No. <laughs> no. But you know what? Go ahead. Throw me some recommendations in chat. My third child is on the way. She's, uh, she's due very soon. What should I name my third child? I got 15 minutes and I got to boil eggs because we got to color them tonight, so. Booger boner. 
can't wait to pitch that one to the wife. Integral. <laughs> Sabenza. Seven. Not chronologically accurate, but all right. Excalibur. <laughs> Charizard? <laughs> oh my god! I can just imagine the Facebook post. Welcome to the world, Charizard! <laughs> I'm gonna teach her Fire Blast! Fire Blast! <laughs> oh man. Coleslaw, good lord. All right. Baby Blastoise. How about I give away 20 memberships here real quick? I'm going to do 20 memberships from me. To you guys who are still here wait for that population drop off because I know a few of you like to hang out so there's 20 for me you want to see the Demco the big one eight and a half inches hundred ninety thousandths big boy true apocalypse folding knife if there ever was one I feel like I've achieved max rank. Once you, I've got two kids. I've got pretty good dad experience. I feel like three, like that's where you reach like, you know. I have a buddy who has six kids. My best friend from high school, just his sixth kid was born. That's not a level I can comprehend, but I feel like the start of like, ma like really knowing like what time consumption is. Cause I, I'm, I'm about to end this, this with this third kid was on purpose we planned this but like i'm voluntarily giving 100 of my time outside of work to my kids and my family and i'm you know three kids like anybody in here who's got three kids you probably know like well you have no life anymore i'm okay with that i actually i love my my work life and my family not life i wouldn't trade anything for it this is what i want to do when i was younger i couldn't imagine giving up my free time dedicating my time to to kids it's hard to comprehend that but once you've had one or two like you it starts to make sense you know i'm not saying if you don't have kids i'm not saying you have to you do whatever you want you do what makes you happy right but if you have kids it opens up a whole new world of joy right i've experienced things that i never could have comprehended having kids i'm so happy to be a dad and i can't wait to welcome my third kid can't wait I love watching them, uh, you know, play sports, excel in um, in school. My kids, uh, we got their most recent report cards, and they're both like they have excellent grades. I'm so proud. Their their recent report cards were the best they've ever been. Just spectacular grades, doing so well. My son reads so much. Uh, his reading log is literally four times the requirement, which I'm very proud of. I think that's great super proud can't wait to see what life brings any hints on my knife design um let me see if I can give a hint that I haven't given yet shiny DLC is an option Timascus will be involved. Um, has ergonomics very similar to the Spyderco Shaman. Few, few extra little details there. 
Vanax Steel. I don't know if I've said that. I probably have. Vanax. Vanax Integral. Has to be Chinese made. That's the only way I'm going to make it affordable and plentiful enough for people to get. I looked into it for a very long time. I explored it for a long time, guys. To make this accessible and to make enough for people to get their hands on it, I did not have a choice. There were there were possibilities with American OEM, but it would have been a limited release. It would have been wildly expensive, and everybody would have been pissed. And I'm not I'm not about that. I want to make it accessible. The first run is confirmed frame lock, but we will we're going to keep ourselves open to uh, ideas for different locks in the future. And the company I'm working with can definitely do different locks. We are working currently. I'm just letting you know the idea of putting a compression lock in our design is definitely on the table, not for the first run, but definitely down the road. So that's that's there. The patent on the compression lock has ended as far as I know. So we will uh, we'll look into that. Interesting guesses on the OEM. I love knowing something that I know that like tens of thousands of people don't know and want to know. I don't know why that's so fun, but I can't wait to share it with you guys. Like I'm, I'm tired of holding the secret. I'm, I'm ready to tell people. It's been, it's been uh, challenging to like keep it a secret. And a lot of people have had some good guesses. Uh, many of you have approached me and saying, right, come on, you can tell me. I ain't going to tell anybody. And I've kept it a secret. So anybody who claims to know, they don't know. There's only two people who know. It's me and the person I'm working with. We haven't leaked it. Nobody knows. Many of you have had some great guesses. All will be revealed soon. All right, I gotta boil some eggs, guys. I got I got egg duty, and then after that, it's movie time. Movie time. I love movie time. I love sitting down. Parents out there. Come on. How cool is it? How fun is it to sit down with your kiddos? Get a bowl of popcorn and watch a movie? Huh? Get to watch those old... You get a good good excuse to watch those old Disney movies? Or whatever. If you don't like Disney, that's fine. But whatever. Old movies you've enjoyed. It's a good time. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my live stream. Thank you so much for supporting me on this path to half a million subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my content. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you to everybody who follows me on Instagram. Thank you to all my friends. Everybody, you guys are all my friends. Uh, we'll see you next week for sure. Because I I think I'm, I'm coaching a, a soccer game. That's it. That's all I have going on next week. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next weekend. Um, I hope you all have an excellent rest of your... Friday night and an excellent rest of your weekend. Bye.